Booties. What are you doing there, Joel? I'm just currently trying to remove some of the excessive leaf debris from the bottom, and then um, then we can uh, reinstate the pump, get some of this dirty water out of the pond, and then fill it up and go from there. Have you got a fish in there? Yeah, I've got a little blue orphan here. As I say, I didn't want to drain the pond because we're getting too close to winter. Yeah. So we're just gonna basically give it a bit of a water change. Yeah. A bit of a clean up. That's it. Oh dear. Lovely. One advantage to the hole at the bottom of the net. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So we've just pulled out the uh, pump. Give it yeah, a good so old this, clean. Yeah, this is the uh, the hose dock Cyprio 6000. It's normally coupled with the um this this uh Bio Force Force Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. I like sound of that. Uh, <laughs> it's quite a handy um, pump because it's got the additional screening of this internal mesh. Um, it's a bit extra fiddly to reassemble, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's a decent pump. Um, it just requires a little bit more maintenance because obviously this gets clogged up. Um, and as we've, as you've seen with the amount of leaf debris inside the pond, yeah. this is what we've arrived to. You know, we've, we've got a minimal flow coming out of the waterfall. So as soon as we blasted this, we can get more of the exit water out, spin the actual filter to clean it, and then um, uh, it'll give us a better access to clean the sides of the pond. Brilliant. And we'll go from there. Lovely stuff. All right. Yeah. 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 High in nutrient. Fish Plants are gonna love it. Yes, it certainly is, but plants are gonna love it. What you got, buddy? So one of these. This is a, a starter filter that's a contained pressurized filter, but inside there's loads of loose cubes of sponges, and then at the bottom there's some little discs, uh, holy discs for the bacteria to grow. Um, it's got a spinning motion here, so as you turn this handle, yeah. it agitates all the media and all the dirty stuff should it exit that way. Uh, more fish poo for plants. That's it. The problem you've got with this particular model is that it doesn't like being left unmaintained because then what's likely to happen is it congeals. Um, and uh, so we're going to do quite an intensive one. We're going to take out about 20% of the volume of the pond via this method to try and give this a good clean. Um, but uh, in the spring, we, will, we would often uh, regenerate some of, or replace some of the media inside, uh, okay. just to allow better flow right through it. Yeah. Uh, much better effect. But have a look up there. This is, uh, before we t turn the dial, that is the sludge that had oh. accumulated inside the corrugated pipe. Oh so no. It's, uh, wow, so it's in, in need of a clean Definitely. Then. Yeah, awesome. Well explained. I'll just check this, make sure it's all right. <laughs> So now we're just going to fill the pond back up. Um, that was really short, and I am sorry for that. It's my first time doing a to 
time lapse on this camera and I set it to five seconds every photo and um, well that was rather quick wasn't it <laughs> yeah it's, it's all testing isn't it so um, just getting that out and I've been clearing the nets of all the leaves so um, uh, these will go back on the ponds when we're finished and um, yeah it should be a treat I mean obviously all this has got to settle and I probably won't be here to see that but I'll see if Joel can send some pictures uh, over when he next revisits the area and um, yeah you'll be able to see this uh, progressing on right I'm gonna give the GoPro a break five minutes because we need to charge the battery <laughs> and um, yeah we'll crack on a few moments later 44% in the space of 10 minutes that'll do that will do very nice yeah so now it's time for the great switch on I suppose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try and clear this water up a little bit. Now uh, that you've I had a... Imagine we're going to get another deposit of gunk. When yeah. We turn it on. Um, but yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, done it. And we're flowing. Lovely, lovely, little bit coming out of it, but maybe it's what's expected, mate. Check stuff. back in five minutes. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that fountain's flowing a lot better. And I know it does look a bit murky, but that'll all settle. And we can't do a full change of the water because we're coming into winter. That's an awesome job. Well done, Joel. <laughs> this is a little goldfish sitting under the waterfall. Cool. Love it. This is Bermuda, pure pond, um, and they're little gel balls, and this is basically a filter boost. Um, it will just help the pond after doing a bit of maintenance to it like we have done. So, just throw a load of them in, in accordance with how many litres the pond is. Get them in. And you got a free pot for maggots when you go fishing or whatever. Cool. to this because where the leaves have landed on it and got a little bit wet um, it's created a bit of it's just pulled it a little bit so I just need to put some more staples in there we'll do that let that fill a little bit longer and then um, put these back jobs are good for the day now, now I don't actually work for Aquatic with solutions I just give Joel, Joel a bell and say can I come and film for the day so yeah I love doing it and if I can help Joel my best friend kick off his business a little bit more and give it a promotion and also give you viewers something to watch at the same time then I'm all for all that we just want to hurry up get this done before it gets a bit dark over Will's mother's <laughs> yeah marvellous job the nets are back on looking all good oh, lovely 
another pond maintenance carried out by Aquatic Solutions. Well done, Joe. Thank you very much. Cracking job.